Hello, awesome artists. We have been learning about perspective in art class. Today, we are going to focus on creating three-dimensional shapes and how we can use perspective to help us do this. We're gonna be learning about how using one-point perspective can help us draw these shapes. We looked at one-point perspective last week to help us draw a landscape, and today we're going to use it to draw our shapes. Um, the use of one point perspective uses a vanishing point where all of the lines in the picture go to. And we will use this tool today to create our shapes. Here is an example that I already created. Um, we're gonna start with um, four shapes. And then once you get the hang of making the shapes three-dimensional, you can do more. So we're gonna go through it step-by-step step together. Um, I would start by using a pencil in case you need to erase something and you just want to draw one dot on your paper and that dot can really go anywhere. I like to have it in the middle of my paper so I have enough space to draw my shapes and this is our vanishing point and this is what we would have what we would use in the landscape also but today it's for our shapes. Then I want you to pick four shapes and draw them out away from your point. And it can be any shape you want. Um, at this point, just four shapes. And if you get the hang of it and you wanna add more shapes later, you can. Also, if you wanna use a ruler for this, you can. I'm gonna uh, do this example without a ruler but um, you can also use a ruler as well. So the key to this is, is to draw a line from every point of your shape to this center point. And if you are using a ruler, you would just wanna line up your ruler to the point that you're drawing from to the vanishing point. So every point, so that's what it would look like with a ruler, but you don't have to use a ruler. Every point on the shape will go to the vanishing point. You wanna just try and do it nice and slow, nice straight line. So I've got two points here. Right now I'm using a square, which will become a cube. Nice and straight down to my point. Now you could do this point too, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do that because you can't really see it. And now to my triangle, best I can, nice straight line to my point. So every point of your shape goes to the vanishing point. And you'll start to see that your shapes kind of start to look three-dimensional. All right, and I know the lines aren't perfectly straight, but that's okay. And then my last shape here. So all the lines that I've drawn from my shape go to this point, making them three-dimensional. Now, if you want, you can go back in, you can color them. I used a marker to kind of go around the main shape and just um, colored in this part with colored pencil. Or if you want, you can close the shape to make it actual 3D and erase this line. It's your artwork, it's up to you. So I'm gonna just show you how to do that. So if you wanted to make this just a freestanding shape, you just wanna draw um, a straight line out from it like that, like the same direction as the line next to it. And we'll do that again here. And this is how you draw three-dimensional shapes. It's really pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Um, so after you've got that, if you wanna add more, you can. If you wanna do a second, um, project you can to just kind of play with the shapes. Here's a, a few that I worked on. You can turn them into different um, characters. You can add faces to the shapes. It's all up to you. And of course, have fun.